Five people were shot in Durham over the weekend, with one of them being deadly. However, proactive p policing uh, efforts by police are paying off now as Durham police have a confiscated. They've seized more than 600 guns this year alone, which is a pretty big number. CBS 17's Crystal Price is digging deeper to find out what kinds of guns were seized and how that's helping them address this violent crime situation. A violent weekend in Durham. One person shot at an apartment complex, another at a mini mart. One man was killed at a bar, and two women were shot in a neighborhood. But Durham police are doing what they can to combat this problem. As this year, police have seen an increase in the number of guns they've been able to get off the street. According to data, so far this year, police have seized 670 guns, a 25% increase compared to this same time last year. Some of the guns seized include stolen handguns and concealed rifles. While CBS 17 is waiting to find out from police exactly how all of these guns were seized, we do know that at least 64 of the guns were collected by the department's new crime area target team. This eight-member team conducted more than 400 traffic stops in high crime areas of the city from April to June. When I see an increase in gun seizures, to me, typically, a lot of times it does equate with proactive policing. Larry Smith, spokesperson for the Durham Fraternal Order of Police, once worked on Durham Police's crime area target team in the 1990s. He says when officers follow proactive policing practices, like what the CAT team is doing with traffic stops, knock and talks, and patrols in high crime areas, he says that often leads to an increase in gun seizures. So anytime you keep those weapons out of the hands of people who are not supposed to have weapons, hopefully it'll have an impact in, in the violent crime. So has the violence been curbed? Data from Durham Police shows the number of shootings peaked this year in April. While the number has come down, there were still almost 60 shootings last month. Smith says it will take police, the DA's office, and the community working together to address gun violence. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. Crystal, thank you. We also checked in with the sheriff's office in Durham, and uh, we're told that deputies this, uh, this year so far have seized 139 firearms, which is down from the previous couple of years. However, the sheriff's office did a buyback program, and they then took in about 400 guns through two of those buyback events that they held this year.